Okay, let's go to California right now. A few school districts are using creativity to combat the teacher shortage and housing crisis. This story is so interesting, Nick. I mean, it's like we're treating our teachers who are from right here in our own backyard like they're missionaries or uh, expats or something. Absolutely, Nadrian. You and I both have educators in our lives, in our families who really do the Lord's work. When I tell you school districts are just trying to figure this out, school districts in the Bay Area are offering teachers a deluxe apartment in the sky. Well, sort of. They're providing subsidized teacher housing as a solution to attract and retain teachers. After reporting a high turnover rate, a school district south of San Francisco voted to build an apartment complex that offers teachers affordable rates. That's because rent is skyrocketing and teacher pay is driving teachers out of the classroom. Simply put, they can't afford to live within a reasonable radius of where they work. According to California Department of Education, the average salary of a teacher for the 2019-2020 school year was $84,000. A Redfin survey found only 17% of homes for sale in Central Valley, California counties were on an affordable teacher's salary. The average cost for a home in California sits around $683,000. The situation, Adrian, is so dire, one San Francisco Bay Area school district recently asked parents if they had extra rooms available for teachers. In other areas across the country, working families aren't finding homes to buy or rent in the districts where they work, so the option is to find other employment. With a national teacher shortage and skyrocketing rent, this viable option could prompt other school districts to follow suit. Trust me, we will keep an eye on this to see if this is an idea that catches on. All right, thank you very much, uh, Nick. Let's bring in Matt Regan. He is the Senior Vice President of Public Policy for the Bay Area Council. Uh, clearly, the situation must be dire if school districts are asking parents to house teachers who can't afford rent. What, what are your thoughts on this? Good morning, Adrian. Yes, it, it is a pretty dire situation we've uh, been experiencing here in California, but particularly in the Bay Area. Um, the Bay Area Metro is has been for a generation the fastest growing economy on the planet. We're the epicenter of tech, of biotech, of venture capital investment, and we've had rapid economic expansion, rapid job growth for a generation or more, but we've seen very little consummate uh, housing production. And as a result, um, as our housing base has remained static and our job growth has been pretty dynamic, um, we've seen affordability uh, crises uh, emerge that um, are quite unprecedented. And um, as we've seen with the Milpitas School District, um, we're, we're having to resort to some pretty extreme measures in order to maintain our quality of life. And that includes trying to find spare rooms, spare bedrooms in, in, in homes uh, for our teachers, which is clearly an unacceptable uh, situation. And we at the Bay Area Council, we represent the largest employers in the region. And we're very concerned and have been for a long time about the, st the state of our housing market, the lack of supply, our inability and unwillingness to build new homes to accommodate our economic growth and uh, the societal impacts that's had, that's, that that has had, particularly those um, lower down on the economic ladder. They're the ones who we've been, uh, who we've been forcing out of our region for quite a long time. You got to talk about the cost of housing in San Francisco. Okay, I've got notes here. This is insane. <laughs> Well, for Malpitas, uh, which is a suburb of San Jose, the median home price uh, is $1.9 million. In order to afford a home, a family needs to make about $250,000 a year, which is not going to happen if you're a teacher in California in the Bay Area. Correct. And, and again, to, to, to reiterate, what we're seeing is a direct response to a mismatched supply and demand. When you've been growing your your job base, particularly at the very high end of the um, of the spectrum, um, again in tech and biotech, when you're bringing in engineers and coders and people with advanced PhDs in, in computing, they're the people who've been coming to our region, um, and you're, we're, we've been paying them very very high salaries. Uh, and we've been forcing them to compete with um, with teachers for the existing housing that is available on the market. And we all know who wins in those competitions. It's the people with the most means at their disposal. 
So um, and with that, uh, home prices have have spiraled upwards and upwards for quite a long time. And yes, the in the San Jose metro, it is one point nine million dollars today to buy a single family home, and that is um, that is sort of beyond the reach of um, most ordinary workers. Um, in, in in California right now, in the Bay Area, you need to make two hundred and fifty thousand dollars to be able to afford that median home. And to put that in some perspective, the national average. Uh, salary required to meet uh, to be able to purchase a median home in your community is seventy-five thousand dollars. So that's how far out of whack we've become, and compared to national average numbers. One more quick question for you. Obviously, there are a lot of people who commute. I mean, I'm from Northern California. A lot of people live in places like Fairfield, Vacaville, and commute into San Francisco. So is that what a lot of teachers are having to do right now? Exactly, yes. And your 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 um lead in mentioned um the Central Valley, which is actually the most affordable part of California. Um uh, it's the coastal metros where affordability is is at its uh, highest uh, or, or worst uh, levels. And so the Central Valley is is two hours east of San Jose, San Francisco, and we have seen um, a huge explosion in what we call mega commuters, people who have been forced uh, uh, to Central Valley communities. Um, you mentioned uh, Fairfield, Vacaville, but even further than that, they are technically in the Bay Area. But if you go out to Manteca and Tracy mm -hmm. and Stockton, yeah. further east, yeah. uh, people are, are driving two hours each day in the morning and in the evening um, to get to and from work. Yeah, I, I, I remember that situation well. All right, Matt Regan, thank you very much. And certainly interesting to think about it. Maybe Airbnb will sponsor some teachers. I'm going to give a shout out to Airbnb. They've sponsored a lot of other uh, folks. So just an idea, just a thought. All right, thank you. Thanks, Adrian. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.